Well, hello. Thank you for visiting GB Book Series. My name is Barbara K. Spears, and I am the author of the series, and the book I'm about to read is Boo, Garrett Boo. It is a Halloween story just for you. Nana B's books are on Amazon, paperback or ebooks. And the other books to Nana B series are Reindeer Rumble, Santa and His Reindeer, Have a Bit of a Squabble, Buggy About Bugs, When You Put a Bee in a Jar, Something Funny Happens, Bunny Duck and Eggs, A Squawking Duck, May Not Have the Best Advice. For Pete's sake, if mom says, don't bring snakes home, and you do, that's what that story is all about. Nana B's book, Boo Garrett Boo, is dedicated to her two great-grandsons. Their names are James Giuseppe and Tobias Peter Robert. Boo Garrett Boo. All rights are reserved. ISBN 10 1548 6239 11. ISBN 13978 1548 6239 13. Illustrations are licensed through graphicsfactory.com. So let's pick up our book and shall we read? I guess the story starts right now. There's a picture of Garrett's room. You can see his desk, his curtains. He has his name on the wall. He has a hero poster, a little goldfish, and a trick-or-treat bag all ready to be filled. Let's hear what Garrett has to say. The funny thing about Halloween is to scare the girls and make them scream. When they see my skeleton mask, they will say, Oh my! When they see my spiders, they will surely cry. I am the scariest of them all, said Garrett, who was talking to the mirror on the wall. Looky, looky, I'm so spooky. There are eight spiders crawling on my head. All of a sudden, a spider fell off and it landed on Garrett's bed. Can you count the spiders? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one fell off and landed on Garrett's bed. Chica the cat was taking a nap, curled up on Garrett's bed. Garrett clapped his hands. The feline got up, hissed, and then she fled. Looking in the mirror, I scared Chica. I will scare you. That is what this scary skeleton wants to do. Boo, boo, and double boo. The skeleton tippy-toed into the kitchen using his outside voice. Boo! Boo! I will scare you! That is what this scary skeleton wants to do! Garrett scared Mom. Did Garrett scare you? Mom was mixing batter when she saw Garrett's face. Dropping the spoon into the bowl, the batter splattered all over the place. Mr. Skeleton, you should never scare your mom. You should never scare your friends. Is that what you are planning to do? Do you want everyone to be afraid of you? Yes, I want to scare my friends. That is what I want to do. Well, Mr. Skeleton, 
You had better be prepared when someone wants to scare you. Scaring me or your friends is not a nice thing to do. By the way, have you seen Garrett? He is about your height. Did you frighten him too? Mom, it's me, Garrett. Isn't my costume spooky? Garrett made a complete turnaround so his mom could take a looky. May I go trick-or-treating on our block? You can go trick-or-treating if you promise to stay near. It's getting late and soon it will be dark. Don't go any further than the Clarks. I promise Halloween is so much fun. I am the scariest one. I scared Chica. I scared you. That's what a skeleton must do. Garrett, you know the golden rule. Do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. That is what you should do. But if I have the scariest costume, that will make me glad. If the girls cry and the boys run, that makes Halloween so much fun. Mr. Spooky Skeleton, be very careful, because ghosts and goblins could scare you. What will you do? Will you cry or run? Will Halloween still be so much fun? Ghosts and goblins don't scare me. I will scare them all. It doesn't matter if they are big or even if they are small. You are very scary, but someone else could be scarier than you. No, I am the scariest of them all. Boo! Garrett grabbed his loot bag and kissed his mom goodbye. All the kids will run from him and they will surely cry. While walking on the sidewalk, Garrett saw his best friend's house. Cody was at the mall, dressed up as Mickey Mouse. Next was Mr. Cohen's place. Garrett can't wait to see the look on his face. Knock, knock. Trick or treat, give me something good to eat or you will have to tickle my feet. Garrett could hear Mr. Cohen walking slowly to the door. He was very old, had no hair, and tapped his cane upon the floor. All the barking is from his good friend, General Anthony Benjamin. Mr. Cohen rhymes his words. Who can this be? Are you trying to scare me? No tricks from you but a treat from me because this is what Halloween should be. Fun for all and all for fun. You, Mr. Skeleton, are the scariest one. Mr. Cohen took a big candy bar out of the orange pumpkin jar he dropped it into Garrett's bag. Chocolate candy is a treat, delicious to eat. It can't be beat. Mr. Cohen looked through thick glasses that rest on his nose. Is this Garrett Bradley? You frightened me from my head to my toes. Yes, it's Garrett. Thank you for the candy. 
later, Mr. Golan, cause I've got to be going. Garrett waved goodbye and ran next door. Bobby, Garrett's babysitter, was home for sure. Garrett rang the doorbell. Ding dong. Trick or treat, give me something good to eat or you will have to smell my feet. Loud music could be heard, but then eerie silence. The door slowly opened. The skeleton stood in brave defiance. The monster spoke in a creepy voice. What do you want, skeleton boy? I have a bone to pick with you. Garrett looked the monster right in its eyes and said, Really? A bone to pick with me? Give me a treat or I will do a trick. Yes, a trick is what I will do. The monster laughed. Garrett, you're not afraid? I scare everyone. Why didn't I scare you? I have heard your scary voice when you read me Monsters in the Sea. I am scarier than any monster could ever be. Bobby took off her mask and dug into her pocket. Here are two wiggly worms. Don't eat them, or they will make you squirm. The teenager tossed two plastic invertebrates and wrapped candy into Garrett's tote. Thank you for the treats. Time to leave. No tricks up my sleeve. Garrett ran down the steps to the sidewalk. He saw a princess and a kitty. Garrett knew the princess was Connie, and the cat wearing red sneakers was her little sister, Bonnie. Give me all your candy. That's what Garrett said, while waving his hands over his head. The girls ran away and cried. They sobbed. Oh my, oh my, tears fell from their eyes. All the trick-or-treaters were afraid of the skeleton. They ran the other way. Garrett saw a puppy dog and thought Roscoe wanted to play. One look at Garrett and Roscoe didn't stay. It is dusk, no longer day. Running home, Garrett opened the front gate. He felt as if someone were following him. He looked back, but nothing was there. Only a breeze from the chilly night air. It was getting darker and spookier by the second. In the backyard, the swing swayed to and fro. Then, a gust of wind slammed the gate on the post. Garrett closed the gate a few moments ago. Who opened the gate? Nobody knows. Garrett raced toward the door. The backyard was scary and spooky for sure. Running up the steps, Garrett looked to his right. A big shadow was hovering in the dark, lurking by his dad's workshop. Garrett turned the doorknob. Just his luck, the door was stuck. Or is it? Locked. Garrett jiggled the handle again. It was locked. 
Hearing a noise, he turned around. Shadows were dancing on the ground. They did the shimmy, and they were shaken. They were quivering. They were quaking. Garrett pushed on the door with all his might. It released without a fight. But standing in the mudroom, there came a big surprise. Garrett came face to face with two black eyes. He said, Oh my! The eyes shouted, Boo, Garrett, boo! Look what I have for you! Chocolate chip cookies! You can only have two. Garrett and Mom went into the next room. In the kitchen, Garrett ate his cookies and Mom took off her costume. Mom, let's do this again on next Halloween and even when I turn 18. The mudroom door slammed. Garrett whispered, do you think that is Dad? No, Dad always comes in through the garage. I locked the back door. Mom, I'm scared. The footsteps were getting closer. Boomer, the dog, ran in with Dad. Garrett's dad spoke. Boo, Garrett, boo. Hey, someone didn't close the gate. Boomer was on the loose. So, how about we get pizza? Dad grabbed a cookie and kissed Mom hello. Well, what are you two waiting for? I think it's time to go. The end. Wasn't that a great story? I love that story. You will also find a word search. Just some words from the story. I hope you have fun. But most important, Happy Halloween from Nana B. Signing off, Nana B.